Hello stampers, welcome back to my studio. I always love having you stop by for some craftiness. And today I wanna to show you something that Vicki and I discovered. We absolutely love this stamp company. This video is going to be on just the basics. When you first receive your stamps, there's a couple of things you might wanna do and I didn't wanna to have to have you sit through the little basics piece every single time, but you can always come back to this and um, just kind of refresh yourself. So when you get a stamp set from Kitchen Sink Stamp, it is amazing because they have so many really very um, important pieces in here. So when you get your stamps, you're going to get this little um, identifying sheet is what I call it. And um, it has the most beautiful um, stamped images. It also shows you how they are layered because remember, these are uh, multi-step layering stamps. So this is your imaging sheet right here. And then you have these stamps right here, which are layered in between two pieces of plastic. All right. And then you also have this little guide right here, which is amazing. And when you do your multi uh, multi-step stamping you can either go from this side to this side this side to this side or you can start in the middle it's totally up to you the outcome is exactly the same and then on the back here it just shows you some um, examples and gives you some instructions also but I want to show you some things that you need to start or you don't need to you have, these are just suggestions um, of what I have done and I've used these for a little bit so I've kind of um, I've kind of found my way and you just need to find your way. So let me start by putting on my gloves because you know I don't touch um, rubber or uh, photopolymer stamps. And these are a very high quality stamp, but again, I just don't touch um, these stamps. So I'm putting on my gloves and let's get started. So you're going to get this sheet, like I said, and you've got the uh, multi, you've got the image sheet also. So what you want to do on the image sheet, you've got the side that actually has the image lasered on there. You do not want to put your stamps on this side. What I like to do is to adhere them to this side or to the this imaging sheet so that I know that I have all of my stamps at the very end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the um, sheet so that all right so this one you're not going to throw this piece away because you can use it for whatever and um, this is the side that actually has the etching on it so what I'm doing is I'm laying these pieces onto my imaging sheet like this let's get these out of the way here and I'm going to go through these in just a moment but um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay each one of these onto the image sheet all right, so that way there I have them. And I'll never lose them. Well, I could lose them, but all right. So here we go. Let's see. This one goes here. All right, they don't have to be exact, but um, this way here, you'll always know if you have a piece that's missing when you get ready to put them away. Right. and one more all right so now you have each one of these pieces on our sheet but remember it's not on the laser side it's on the back side of it you really want to make sure you do that because if you put it on the laser side it might pick up some of the image um, if that happens just use some alcohol to get it off and you're good to go all right so the next thing we're going to do is add this to this piece right here and we're ready to store them again. All right, so I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put this back in here, I'm gonna add this to here, and I'm gonna put it back into my little sheet right here. So now this is the basics, very, very, very simple. You can keep coming back to this if you need to remember how to do it, which is what I always have to do, but you don't have to sit through, through every video. So actually what you wanna do is to start watching some of my videos on these new kitchen sink stamps. I love them. It literally looks like a photograph. If I hadn't stamped this myself, I would have said it was just a photograph that I turned into a card. It is amazing. And people aren't gonna believe that you did these. All right, so stay tuned and there's a lot more coming. Take care, have a great day and thank you for stopping by.